The Lord be with your spirit. Viewers all over the world, the devil uses this situation to tempt us. Situation to break our focus of God. He wants you to concentrate on your situation. And the more you concentrate on your problem, the more he bombarded your mind with negative thoughts. And these negative thoughts will increase your problem mentally. And when you are mentally stressed, you become emotionally stressed. And when you are emotionally stressed, the great danger is to be spiritually stressed. Your sense of judgment is broken. You can't reason well. You can't see God's opinion. You can't see beyond your trouble. You become overwhelmed. But glory be to God. Jesus has come to deliver us spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. So Jesus is the answer. Are you stressed physically by situation, sickness, disease, trouble? Are you mentally stressed? Are you in a stage where you can't control your thoughts anymore? Negative thoughts in your heart continue to tell you you will fail, you will die, you will not succeed? Don't allow those thoughts to control you. Arrest your heart. If you think negatively, you will speak negatively. And that's very dangerous. But glory be to God. No matter your trouble today, the Lord has given us a way out today. What is the way out? The scriptures. The Bible is our plan and strategy against all the tactics of the devil. Today, with the word of God, you are going to take back your situation. You are going to take back your heart in control. The devil wants to take your heart off. But with the word of God, you are going to arrest your heart, arrest your thought, and the battle is won. The moment you capture your thought, the moment God's word refreshes your mind, negative thoughts will leave you. So today, whatever negative thoughts is ringing in your mind, in your heart, telling you, you will not make it. Don't put those thoughts into words. Whatever negative thoughts is ringing in your heart, telling you, you will not make it. The only way to defeat Satan, the only way to take control of your situation is to change your focus. The believer who works in the natural is no match for Satan. When you focus on the natural, you have no strength. Therefore, it is time to shift the battleground from the natural to the spiritual. The moment you begin to focus on God, you have victory. The moment you focus on God, solution comes. Right now, how do you focus on God? Through his word, by his spirit. Right now, Jesus defeated the devil in Matthew chapter 4. And he has given us a plan of strategy how to defeat fear. How is it? The word of God. The word of God will refresh your heart. It will renew your mind and you begin to see life clear and fear will go. I will take you to the book of Psalm 91. This book of Psalm 91 will channel our victory today. If you are physically stressed, give your attention. Focus on Jesus, focus on God. Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the wilderness, the people of Israel, led by Moses, were sheltered by the clouds by day. And the pillar of fire was to give them direction in the night. The light shines in the darkness and you will know the way out. The pillar of cloud by day was to shelter them from the heat of the desert. Holy Spirit is the cloud to shelter you from the heat of trials, heat of temptation in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you are the cloud. Father, shelter them under the shadow of your protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is your situation, whatever is giving you pressure and tension, making you to be stressed physically, emotionally, Lord, enter the soul. Holy Spirit, enter the mind. Any person under the influence of this telecast, I pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, fall afresh on him. Touch the person. I command that spirit, manipulating your thoughts, to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit, causing pressure and tension behind that situation, to live in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to live in the name of Jesus. Live their house. Live their life. Live their destiny. Live their health. Live in the name of Jesus Christ. I say live in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, shelter them under the shadow of your mercy. Shelter them under the shadow of your protection. Shelter everything that has to do with them. Your protection, your protection, your protection by the cloud, by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be sheltered. Be sheltered. Your home be sheltered. Your life be sheltered. Your business be sheltered. Your career be sheltered. Everything about you be sheltered under the shadow of God's mercy and protection. 
and the wicked one cannot touch you in Jesus' name. Are you emotionally stressed? Are you overwhelmed by thoughts in your heart? The scripture says, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. It shall not come near you. Why? Because the Lord will going to protect you in the name of Jesus. Lord, be their shelter, be their shield in the name of Jesus. Put the mark of your favor of protection in the name of Jesus. Lord, every life-threatening situation, be ward off in the name of Jesus. Far from you in the name of Jesus. Far 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. It is said, he protects you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. Every appointment of failure, disappointment, sickness and disease in your life, be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Any trap the fowler, the devil has laid before your way, be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you attacked by nightmares to the extent you're afraid to sleep at night? Psalm 91 verse 5 says, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste the noonday. The Lord protect you above human destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord protect you above demonic destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever spirit of destruction, attacking a dream, nightmare, seize in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to seize in the name of Jesus. Come out, out of your life, out of your heart, out of your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil hand of nightmare, be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to live in the name of Jesus. I command them to live your thoughts, to live your mind in the name of Jesus. Be free, be released in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Are you spiritually stressed? Have you reached the level where you can't read your Bible anymore? You can't pray anymore? Where you think all hope is lost? To the extent you look for alternative on the outside? Take heart. Jesus is the answer. In the name of Jesus. Whatever chain Satan must have used to connect you to desperation, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Any satanic change of spiritual bondage over your spirit, over your soul, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every chain of evil spirit manipulating your thought to lose control, that chain, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever situation the devil must have used against you, Today, I say in the name of Jesus, break through in the name of Jesus Christ. As Moses and the children of Israel stood before the Red Sea, today the Lord will pave the way out for you in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, deliver them spiritually in the name of Jesus. Be delivered, be delivered, be delivered, be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, deliver them emotionally in the name of Jesus. Touch their thoughts. Touch their mind. Your peace enter their heart in the name of Jesus. Peace in your mind. Peace of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says when you pray, the Lord will keep your heart and your mind in the peace of Christ. Right now I speak the peace of Jesus into your mind, into your heart in the name of Jesus. Out, oh, you stressful spirit, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray every darkness within you be replaced by light. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. Light in your mind. Light in your heart. Light in your home. Light in your business. Light, light, light in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray whatever pressure and tension is holding you back, be replaced by holy relaxation in the name of Jesus. Relax in the precious arm of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Peace in your heart. Peace in your home. Peace in your business. Peace in your career. Peace. Peace. Peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit you into the precious hand of the Holy Ghost. He preaches peace into your mind. Peace in your spirit. Peace in your mind. Peace.
peace in your heart, peace in your home, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever sickness, disease is affecting your body, receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Be released from that sickness. Be released from that disease. Be released in your body. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever yoke of limitation in your life, whatever yoke of limitation, be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, lift them, Lord, above the realm of impossibilities and make Christ's possibilities available for them. Break through in the name of Jesus. Enlarge your spiritual course. Break through in the name of Jesus. Break through in the name of Jesus. Break through in the name of Jesus. Break through in your career. Break through in your business. Break through in your marriage. Break through in your business. I say break through in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I pray, in the name of Jesus, a new day, a new dawn will come to your life today in the name of Jesus. As Moses said, the enemy you see today, you will see them no more. Those devils, those circumstances, you will see them no more in the name of Jesus. Give way, give way, give way, give way in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. When you put your problem into Christ's hand, he will put his peace into your heart. I can see you be free in the name of Jesus. Right now, begin to give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to God Almighty. Give thanks to him, for the Lord has done it for you. Thanks to Jesus for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free in the name of Jesus. Christ's victory is your victory. Supernatural victory, spiritual victory in Jesus' name. Don't forget, before you sleep at night, meditate. Oh, Holy Spirit. Take more of me, give me more of you. And this Psalm 91, be yours. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand. It shall not come near me. You will not fear the terror by night. Meditate these verses. Psalm 91, from verse 1 to verse 7. Meditate it by heart, and the peace of God will secure your way anywhere you go. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.